Alright, I just found the camera again, so I figured I'd show you a little update video. I got a new toy for skidding logs. Any guesses to what it might be? Oliver 70. 1940, Oliver 70. Works pretty darn good for skinning logs. It's pretty rare with the wide front model. Here's all that. Give you a little peek of the engine. Whoops. There's the engine from this side. Oil fill, obviously. There's your gas and everything. And for those of you that don't know to shut these, you push them in and turn them like that. That's how they shut. Some people can't ever figure it out. On this side, you've got all six of your cylinders there. I don't know if you can see all of them, but it's a six cylinder. There's your oil dipstick there. It's got an oil submerged air filter. So now I figure I'll start it and show you the rest of my projects I'm working on. Just shut. Okay. Best way I found to get on this thing is to come up from the back and swing over the seat. I guess I'll show you the shifting pattern. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Hopefully you can see that. Well, you probably can't, but there it is. Alright, so let's remove the brake. Pull out the starter button. That's the choke for when it's cold. And then to start it, you just press that button. And there you're started. Now, see if I can't shift do all this one-handed. There's your throttle. Whoa, we got a brake on still. There we go. I left the brake on. It's got a left brake and a right brake. So I guess I'm going to show you my logs that I've been working on recently. I've gotten lots of lumber orders recently, so I've got a decent sized log pile now. Most of these are pines, as you can see. I've started, I've got some of them cutting. Let's see if I can't zoom you in on that. Maybe I can zoom you in. No, I can't. Got some aspen logs, some hemlock. There's the truck I've got that I've been working on. Needs a lot of patchwork as you can see. I think it'll be a good project. Got some more logs. That platform there is where I'm building a sawmill. I'm going to build a band mill. Speed my production process up a little. And then a project I'm going to film later this summer. That I think you guys might enjoy. I'm rebuilding a portion of my shop that washed away in a 2011 flood. This whole back side here, I'm rebuilding it. I should be starting that soon, and I'll bring you along on the project. Can't hurt to take video of it, because you can see right into my shop there. And it's kind of open, it's a pain. So I'm going to rebuild that. Uh, this tree here, the top dead most of the way down. I'm going to be cutting that down this fall. I might even have to get cut this summer. Make a video of that. Uh, what else should I show you? Yes. I'll show you the logs a bit closer and some of the lumber I got for my extension I'm building on the shop going to be quite the project. I started to paint it. don't know if you can even see that because there's a lot of sun. So here's all the lumber I've got. I've been taking down decks and stuff for my neighbors and the little buildings they have so I've got a lot of lumber from that. I'd show you the inside of my shop but it's a bit of a mess right now. I'm building a live edge countertop for someone. And there's logs a bit closer. Now, I guess I'll show you how good this 
goes on the road, I'll just take it up to the top of my road and back. As soon as I get on the road, I'll put it in a bit higher of a gear. There's our garden. All my fruit trees. Blueberries. Now in case I fail miserably, I might as well show you, because to get this in fifth gear, you gotta get to the top hand. Almost two separate gear boxes. Normally you're down here, fifth gear up here. And it is a pain to get that in there. The gears don't like to match up right. So if you hear a grinding sound, that'd be it. Come on. There you go. As you can see also, fifth gear almost hits the kill switch. Well, let's get on with it. There's cabin under construction there. My neighbor. This is a pain to drive one hand. There's two stumps there where I got some of those logs. As you can see, this smokes just a little bit. It's got original rings in it from 1940, so oil gets into it. Oh. Yeah, this road's a little bumpy. I should make a video next winter of me plowing it. Just like a short little maybe five minute clip. It's quite interesting sometimes when you're plowing on this road. You get pushed all over the place. As you can see, most of the properties near me are empty. That's because of that flood. Most of the houses and cabins got washed away. There's a few houses down here, but most of them are gone. But there used to be cabins all through here. There used to be tons of them. Now it's just all overgrown. Yeah, this thing pulls logs really nice. That's how I got all those logs home. I don't know if any of you are interested in this bit. If not, I guess just skip the driving part. But I'm gonna try and hurry up and get home so I don't bore you too much. It's a six cylinder Continental engine that powers that. It only puts out 30 horsepower, which I thought was pretty amazing. Being that it's six cylinders and all. This will pull almost anything you hook up to it. But here's a few of the houses, a little camper and a few houses that have stayed. As I said earlier, most have gone. But there's one that washed off its foundation. I guess this video is getting pretty long. I gotta end it quick. I'm gonna start putting videos up every week then. Some
some will be woodworking, some construction, some will be me logging, but yeah. There's Blade from one of the local sawmills. Well, probably a good time to slow down a bit. And also, if any of you are interested, leave it in the comments, I guess. I'll be making some hardwood charcoal. I make my own charcoal. If you're interested in watching that, leave it in the comments. If not, I won't make a video of it. I'm going to go park this and start editing the video. There's the forge building. You guys must remember that. Here we go. As I said before, that throttles you down. You shift yourself out of gear. Neutral. Right brake. They're manual parking brakes. you got to deploy this little lever to lock them in. And then lock. Press down the other one locked in. Well, I'm going to end the video here.